Welcome back to Isha Gaming. Today I thought I would show you my new gaming setup. I've just now recently been putting up all of these things in the guest room, making myself a new gaming setup. Maybe you can draw some inspiration from this video. I will show you some products that I recommend, some smart solutions. I will basically be showing you how I sit and play my video games, how I do my gameplay recordings, and I will be showing you what kind of accessories and peripherals that I use. Now, I am usually a handheld gamer. That's also why I like the Switch so much. And basically now the PS Portal. And that is how I have been enjoying playing my video games and still do. But now recently I have started to sit here and play my video games. More specifically my PS5 games. So I made myself an actual gaming station. I moved my PS5 down here. I even put my PS5 up on a shelf to have more desk space, basically. Also, it looks cool. And I bought myself a PS5 monitor that one and also what is a gaming setup without RGB lights and I think I will be putting up more RGB lights uh, soon because I don't know I don't find it tacky I don't find it weird I love it <laughs> loving RGB lights so I bought these nano leaf lines they were expensive but I've been looking at them for some time now and if you want to have my quick review of them they were easy to assemble and I had uh, Ishaman help me <laughs> help me assemble them because actually in the instructions it said get a friend to help you and I was like Ishaman and he was like I like how I'm in my bathrobe I look at that more copper Okay, so I really like these. I think they look cool. I like them. Okay, so over to the PS5 setup. I um, have this new shelf, like I said, and I have a little astronaut that gives off a little galaxy vibe in the ceiling. I got that off Timu. Also, the shelves are from Timu. A lot of things are from Timu, apparently. So this is the headset that I use. It's the Inson H9. Comfortable, good, matches the PS5. And this is the controller that I use, which is the PS5 Elite controller, I believe. Good. And also I put up a um, sort of hanger for the headset and controller, making it look better. Keeping stuff off the desk, basically. It's what I like. So over to the monitor, uh, or rather monitors, because as I was planning this video, Sony asked me if I wanted to have the other model, which is the Inson M3, sent over as a review unit. So this monitor was gifted from Sony. Thank you. And so I thought to myself, I'm gonna do some in-person comparison between the two screens because I looked up online and it's quite a difference in price between these two models, the M3 and the M9. The M3 was just as easy to assemble as the M9 was. And uh, from a first glance, they look identical. <laughs> they are identical. And the price, I bought mine on sale. I think it was around $900. And the M3, which is the cheaper option, goes for $500. And the main difference is that the M9 has 4K and the M3 is not 4K. I tried to in-person compare the two when playing Rise of the Ronin. And at first glance, I couldn't tell the difference between the two screens. However, when I took a picture of both screens and then compared the two, well, as you can see, <laughs> you can clearly see the 4k screen popping out but I mean for just watching 1080p YouTube videos it doesn't matter which one of these you get I'm recommending both of them okay so over to peripherals I use a Razer keyboard it's the 10 key less ornato and I am using a Razer mouse uh, I'm happy with those they're pretty okay and of course my PS portal is always following me around all across the house and on the other side of my room I have a new furniture up for makeup. <laughs> of course I had to do that, you know. Neat and tidy. Also bought a Globus, always wanted one. This is where I live, you know. <laughs> always wanted a Globus. But I mean like this room is still a guest room as well. I had consoler cousin sleep over here like three nights recently and she was loving the new lights and she was loving the, you know, the entire room. Also my cat likes to chill out in here while I play games or do my gameplay recordings. Super cozy stuff. This is Bella by the way. She's so big now. Okay I'm gonna show off some other Timu purchases. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by Timu. So this is another setup tip that I would recommend that you do is getting a cord holder kind of like this keeping all of the cords up from the floor also I've been using double-sided tape holding cords and stuff up from the floor as you can see and that makes it easier to vacuum clean I just want to you know have a proper cable management for the first time in my life and having everything up from the floor and having the most 
the desk space. And uh, another thing, I tried to buy like a wall mount for the monitor, but there is something about the VESA 100 on the back side. It doesn't necessarily go together with other VESA 100 <laughs> wall mounts. Uh, so I had to return a wall mount that I had bought and uh, now it's just standing on the table. But initially I was wanting to have it uh, floating because I want to have like a desk. Um, I've been so inspired <laughs> uh, looking at other people's gaming setups in general and I've been so inspired and I really want to have like a desk that has nothing on it, everything is just floating, you know. So anyway, so this was uh, my new gaming setup, guys. Uh, this is also where I do my gameplay recording. And currently I'm playing a lot of Dragon's Dogma 2. Starting to enjoy it now. Had a bit of a rough start, but uh, starting to enjoy it, definitely. Also, I just started Roots of Pacha. Seems good so far, seems solid. Seems like there is a lot of things to collect and do. So let me know if I inspired you with anything in my gaming setup. Also, I want you to join the Discord down below because I have a little thing called Game Room Tours. And this is where I want everyone to post pictures of their gaming rooms, gaming setups, how you sit and play, whichever way that may be. That will be fun. Thank you so much for watching this video. This was a random one. Uh, I'm not down in my studio <laughs> for this video. If I do any major changes to the setup, I'll may make another video but this is how I do it for now okay and you know the white on all of the peripherals that has grown on me I remember not liking all of the white peripherals now it has grown on me and I like having everything matchy matchy and even the screens are white I mean and the ps5 there uh, I'm such a PS5 person right now. What has happened? But I'm also playing a tiny bit of Switch. I have a little Switch video coming up really soon. Look forward to that one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.